In this video, we're going to practice writing all of the lowercase Greek letters, and we're going to practice writing five words. If you uh, do not have your whiteboard handy, I encourage you now to go ahead and pause the video and go and get a whiteboard uh, and a dry erase marker. If you don't have a whiteboard and a dry erase marker, you can of course use a piece of paper, um, but have that handy because I'm gonna ask you to write each letter a handful of times, and I'm going to ask you to write those five words a handful of times as well. So what's gonna happen is I'm going to move over to uh, my iPad screen and I'm gonna show you how to write each of the Greek letters. And then I'm going to ask you to pause the video and write each letter, five, or sorry, three times, not five times, write them three times. And then we'll move on to writing a couple of different words. So I've grouped these by three letters at a time. What I've done is I've already written them, but I'm going to show you sort of the direction that uh, I write the Greek letters in. So this is the way that I was taught. There are different ways for writing the Greek letters and you'll see uh, when people handwrite Greek, just as when they handwrite English, there are a number of different handwritings out there. Uh, and so if even if the way that I don't uh, even if the way that I write these doesn't work for you and you can sort of mimic what you see in the grammar, that's totally fine as well. But I wanted to give you a walkthrough of how to write in Greek. So first here we have alpha, beta, and gamma. So for an alpha, you start up at the top right and you come down, you stay, whoops, start at the top right, you come down and then come back around, staying sort of within the line the whole time. With the beta, you start below the line, you come up and you curve around. With the gamma, you start over here on the left, come down below the line and then come back over. So go ahead and write each of these letters three times on your whiteboard. Our next three letters here are Delta, Epsilon, and Zeta. Delta is going to stay within the line the whole time, start in the top right, and move over and swirl back around. For Epsilon, you start again at the top right and sort of make a backwards three. Zeta, you start at the top of the curly Q up here and then move down. Oops, sorry, my got the wrong color there. You move down and around, again, staying uh, within the line at the whole time. Sort of at the bottom here, you're going to uh, hug onto the line. So go ahead, pause the video and practice writing these three letters three times each. For eta, notice here it comes down below the line. You're gonna start over on the left-hand side uh, write a line down and then come down below the first line that you wrote. For theta, you start with a circle and then you take your line directly through it. And yoda, simply down and over with a little hook. Once again, pause, write these three letters three times. Kappa, we're going to stay within the line the entire time. You start over here on the left side, make a hook down, and then a line up, and then a curved line. Lambda, we're going to start up here at the top and go down, and then make a line up. Sometimes you'll also see it with a little hook on the top of the lambda as well. And then with mu, we're going to start down here with this line, come up and curve like that. So starting down here, coming up, curving, and coming back down. Kind of like a cursive U in English. Once again, write these three letters three times. Our new looks like an English V. You can do it at uh, simply with no curve right here, just as an English V, or you'll often see it sometimes written with a cur little bit of curve in it like that. And XC is sort of like a, a Zeta with an extra, an extra loop in it here. So you're gonna start up here at this curly Q and come down around like this. So again, with XC, you're actually staying in the line the whole time. And then Omicron, very simply an O, within the line the whole time. 
So within, if this is your line, you're staying within it the entire time. So once again, pause the video, write each of these three letters, nu, xe, and omicron three times. Here we have P, Rho, and Sigma, and it's two different forms. So with P, you start a line at the top, and then simply two lines down. Probably well know this letter from geometry. With Rho, we're gonna start down here below the line, and then come up and curve around. So we're starting below the line, coming up and curving around. For Sigma, we're gonna start right here where the two, where the circle meets, come around, and then give it a little hat on top. And then for our final sigma, we're gonna start up here at the top and then come down and around. Once again, pause the video, write these three letters three times. Now we have tau, Upsilon and phi. With tau, we're going to go over and then align down. We're going to align over and down. Upsilon, we're going to start here on the curve and just come around like this. And then with phi, we start with a circle and then just put a vertical line through it. So an omicron with a vertical line through it. Once again, pause the video, write these three letters three times. And our last three letters, we have key, C, and omega. With key, we're gonna start up here and come down and then put our diagonal line through. So starting up here, coming down, and then our diagonal line through. With the C, same thing, starting on the curl over here, coming up and over, and then a vertical line through. And omega, starting over here on the left and making a curled W, essentially. So once again, pause the lecture, write these three letters three times, and then we're going to very briefly look at the three accents. These, these three accents are very easy. Uh, so for the acute accent, we're just going a straight diagonal line up. The grav accent, a straight diagonal line down. And the Circumflux accent, we're just doing a upside down U. Um, so once again, you can pause the lecture here. Uh, these ones you may not need to practice, but go ahead and write them each three times. And the last thing we're going to do is write five different words. So I'm going to write it uh, so you can sort of see how the letters are formed. And then I'm going to ask you to repeat the word three times. You are writing it yourself three times. So I'm going to write it, then I'm going to say it. So notice how I write all the letters first, and then I go back and add accent marks after. This word is apostolos. Go ahead and repeat it. Apostolos. And now go ahead and write apostolos three times. Next, we're going to write soma with a circumflex over the omega. Soma. Go ahead and say it out loud and go ahead and write Soma three times. Our next word is going to be phone. And notice once again, I write the accent last. So phone, go ahead and say it and write it three times. Our next word is Cardia, go ahead and say it, Cardia, and write Cardia three times. And lastly, we're going to do Pater. Pater, and go ahead and write it three times. <laughs> 